Hey guys, welcome back to the Command Beacon. As a reminder, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, turn on the notification bell icon to stay up to date with all my latest content for you guys. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Command underscore Beacon. And in case you didn't know, I started a small Discord channel where you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest, or just chat it up. The link will be in the description down below. Well, enough of that. Let's get on to the gameplay. All right, we lost the die roll. We're going to be playing second on this one. Um, we have an island sunken hollow breeding pool, cultivate, swiftfoot boots, and crumbling ashes. So I think we're going to keep it a little slow, uh, but hopefully the cultivate will help us get to where we need to be. And we're going to be playing against Riku of Two Reflections. So another deck today that I haven't played in a long time. But it's going to lead off with a Temple of Abandon. They pass over to us, we draw into a swamp, so I think we're going to go breeding pool on this one. Do I want to pay the two? Hmm. No, I don't think I will. With that, we'll pass the turn. Our opponent plays a command tower. They tap down to play ponder. They follow with a mana crypt. And they pass the turn over to us. We drew into Urborg. I think we're going to go island on this one. Let's get the swift foot boots down. And we will pass the turn. So our opponent was able to pull ahead on the mana here. They do have a mana crit trigger. And they lost the flip. They play Halimar Deaths. They pass the turn over to us. And we draw into another swamp. So I think we'll go with the swamp here. Let's play Cultivate. We will grab a forest and another swamp. And with that we'll pass the turn. Our opponent wins the flip. Playing in Alchemist Refuge. And they follow with a Frost Titan. And it looks like they're going to be tapping down our Swamp here. So we drew into Orexia Metamorph. Let's get the Urborg into play. And I think what we're going to do at this point. Let's see. Can we... We'll pay the two here. We'll tap, tap. We'll pick the Frost Titan on this one. And we'll tap down the Titan with the ability. Or at least attempt to. We are unable to pay the two. And we'll pay one to get the Sensei's Divining top out. A little bit of a misplay. I meant to put the boot on the Titan. Alright, no worries. So our opponent loses this flip. They are down to 24. They decide to move to combat. They are targeting our Frost Titan. We'll go for the block here. It's a pretty fair trade. Oof. And our opponent plays a Consecrated Sphinx. Pass over to us. They draw two cards. Let's play... The Sunken Hollow. Let's cast Volrath here. We'll move to combat. Put the counter on the Sphinx. I think we're going to have a little bit of a battle here. So we can draw to our heart's content. Um, at this point, let's go ahead and make him a copy of the Consecrated Sphinx here. And we'll pass turn. Our opponent loses the flip. Down to 21. So we are going to draw and they are going to draw. Let's go ahead and go for the auto yield here. Alright, so we drew quite a lot of cards here. Let's see what our opponent decides to do. They choose not to swing in. They play their Reliquary Tower. And they follow with a Thought Vessel. So very, very good play on their behalf. They play Fell War Stone. They decide to Beast Within our Commander. And they pass over to us. Alright, so let's start off. We'll get the Ancient Tomb down. I think I want to go Curse of the Swine. We'll see if our opponent wants to counter it. They choose not to. Is there anything else that I want to do? I think just for giggles, I'm going to go Windfall here. Our opponent does go for the Mana Drain on that one. And let's go Reanimate on the Frost Titan. Let's tap down their Command Tower. And let's equip the Boots onto the Frost Titan. Let's tap down the Boar. That brings our opponent down to 15, and then now we're going to have to move the cleanup. We pass the turn over, so our opponent has a pretty good advantage here. They're at 38 cards in hand, 39 now, and we are currently sitting at 7. I still think we're in a pretty decent position. We basically eliminated their blue. Oh, never mind. They will time warp on this one. They play Commander Sphere, followed by Birds of Paradise. Talisman of Impulse and a Simic Signet. 
they wrap up the turn with a Simic Growth Chamber and then move on to their second turn. They lose this flip down to 12. They play a Yavimaya Hollow. They decide to cast Shattering Spree here. Our opponent is going to play Eternal Witness here. They are choosing to bring back the Time Warp. They play the Time Warp. So our opponent is going to be going into a third turn. Um, not going to lie, a little bit salty. I'm not a big fan of people taking multiple turns and not really doing much with them. Um, so, I mean, our opponent has 33 cards in hand at this point. I'm hoping that they have some way to win. Otherwise, you know, the last 10 or so minutes have kind of been a whole lot of nothing. Would be cool to see them do something really explosive though. So they're going to play Oracle Modaya. They reveal a soul ring. They play an island. Oh man, if they do all of this and then they don't win, and for some reason we're able to resolve our overloaded Cyclonic Rift, it's going to feel so good. But I'd assume that with that many cards in hand, our opponent must have an answer. So they're down to nine. If they keep playing these, uh, these extra turn cards, they may end up killing themselves with the Mana Crypt triggers. So our opponent's going to play High Market. Uh, they follow up with the Soul Ring. They play Chromatic Lantern. They crack the Commander Sphere. They have a Mystic Snake sitting on top. They decide to Brainstorm. They play the Homeward Path, so they're going to be getting the Frost Titan back here. Alright, we have the Flame Tongue Kavu entering the battlefield. Chances are he's going to be blowing up the beast here. Yami Vaya Elder. I really want our opponent to overextend here. Alright, a Rashad and Footpath. We will sacrifice the Frost Titan. The opponent moves to equip the Skull Clamp. Alright, so I think at this point it's kind of do or die. Let's try to go for the Overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Chances are our opponent does have it. It does look like they do. Oh, I completely forgot about the Birds of Paradise and the uh, Mystic Ant or the Mystic Snake. Alright, so we could. Not sure if I run Pact of Negation here. But we do have Swan Song, and I think that will do. So let's go for that. Put that on top. Let's crack the Sensei's Divining Top. Oh man, no, that's a. St oh wow, that's a creature. I completely forgot. Oh man, that is. That's not a good feeling. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh man. So our opponent wins this Mana Crypt. Um, yeah, that was terrible. I don't know what I was thinking there. I seriously thought it was just a plain old Counterspell. And I just said Mystic Snake too. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that would have been so sweet. Opponent's going to play Swiftfoot Boots. Followed by Shaman of the Forgotten Wave. So I think here alone, as long as they equip the boots and they go for the activation, they're basically going to win. Yep. Yep, so our opponent's going to go for the Shaman of the Forgotten Ways activation here. A very cool finish for our opponent. Good game to them. I'm not sure how I feel about waiting three, four turns, um, 10 plus minutes, you know, for that. Um, but hey, man, a win's a win. They got it. It was a good show on their deck. I think we kind of messed up with uh, going crazy on the draw with the Consecrated Sphinx. But I mean, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Well guys, that's going to do it for this gameplay. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as a quick reminder, if you're looking for a way to support the channel, make sure to scroll down, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell icon so you can stay up to date with all our latest content for you guys. While you're at it, give this video a like if you enjoyed what you've seen here. It helps others who enjoy this type of content find us a bit easier. And if you're interested in being a part of the channel, follow me on Twitter at command underscore beacon and we can coordinate a time so that you can showcase your deck building abilities. And finally, if there's any specific content that you would like to see on the show, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. You were watching the Command Beacon. Until next time, thanks for watching.